Her overall B score is very high with a 2.65. And our next competitor from Canada, one of our senior athletes, this is Weijin Lee competing in the women's Tai Chi Jian. Jen uh, trains out of Toronto, Ontario, and has been a longtime member of the Canadian national team and used to compete in the Changchun Broadsword and Staff event. And uh, over the last two world championships, have moved into the Tai Chi events. Side leg balance. Front jump into the outside rotation. I'd be curious to hear your experience, but in my experience, training Tai Chi athletes for a lot of these balances is very difficult. It requires a very specific type of strength, not so much in leg development, it requires mobility, uh, a, a lot of extreme flexibility, and just that overall requirement and core strength to hold that leg. leg balances and techniques is very difficult. That's right. Uh, there are specific exercises to uh, develop the uh, balance in uh, leg lifting, uh, but as well as just understanding that stability of your entire core. As you saw, there was a slight misstep in that landing. Very, very difficult. There we have one of the difficulty movements, a single leg extended out into a single leg squat and stand. And even in the uh, Tai Chi Gen, you see the blade as the uh, strike or the um, uh, what we call parry. It has a sound to it, being the nature of the soft blade. But the purpose of that is to actually showcase the energy and the flow of the strikes towards the end of the blade. Whereas if it was solid, it would be difficult to uh, portray that or to judge that. So it is actually very difficult to exert your power and create that sound towards the end of the weapons and the uh, bladed uh, blades of the uh, straight sword or the broadswords. Call 8.90. That was Wei Jen Lee from Canada. See, the outside rotation was fine, but here on that front 180 degree rotation, the landing was a misstep.
Final score, Final score for Wei Jin Lee, 8.83. Athlete number eight to enter the arena.